Hi, um, my name is Kristen Carney. I'm the co-founder at Qubit, and I'm going to be showing you three free tools today that you can use to uh, locate census tracts that are in your project area. Um, the first tool I'm going to show you is Qubit, um, and we need a fake project for, for this purpose. And so let's pretend we want to find um, what census tracts are going to be at the intersection of Crenshaw and Rodeo Drive um, in Los Angeles, California. Um, so this is our pretend projects. We want to find the census tracts that are at this intersection. Um, and I'm, I'm going to show you three different ways to do that. Uh, the first way is using Qubit. You can sign up for a free account on Qubit and calculating census intersections is a free uh, functionality at Qubit. So type in Rodeo Drive, LA, CA, and let's see, all right, that got us to the general area. And let's zoom over to Crenshaw. There it is. Okay, so we found the area on um, our map, and we'll draw a quick polygon around this intersection. Um, and this should calculate all the census tracts that are within this general project area. We'll set a buffer of 10 feet. That'll be, you know, safe. We want to, if there's a census tract right up to it, we would want to get that information too. Um, so by clicking on save, the system is going out and it's calculating the intersections of census tracts um, that are in my project area. Great, it is returned the fact that there are 14 blocks, four block groups, and four census tracts in this project area. And to get the, um, to identify the different census tracts, if we'll click on the socioec report and scroll down and in the minority races table, there are a list of census tracts. And right here in seconds, we now have identified the census tracts in our project area. So the six stands for California. These are FIPS numbers. The 37 stands for Los Angeles County. And then this number right here is the census tract identifier. Now, if you needed to know more than just the name of the census tract, um, for $20 a month, Qubit has um, subscriptions, so you could get the population and the race um, of people in that census tract, as well as you know income data and transportation data, data from about 60 different sources. Um, but if you keep scrolling down, there are some free data sets as well. Like for example, we can find out in the census tract how many um, are, are Spanish speakers who speak English lesson very well as well as how many folks in the tracks um, speak English, speak Spanish or Japanese or other languages. So there's some free data resources. There are also some paid data resources on Qubit, but we can use Qubit for free in seconds to identify census tracks um, in our project area. So that's Qubit in a nutshell. Let's go look at some of the other tools that are out there. Um, this tool is the Census Bureau's um, finder tool. And um, it, it works on an address system, right? So this is our area of interest. And I don't know the address, but if we zoom in, a lot of times, you know, you can find something close by, right? And so it looks like Ralph's is on the corner of Crenshaw and Rodeo. And let's see. Ralph's at Crenshaw and Rodeo. So hopefully Google will give us an address for Ralph's. Um, that looks pretty good. So we'll copy that address and paste it in and copy the zip code and paste that in. And let's see if the census track finder through the census finds it. Great, so it has located the um, area of interest and it gives us, so this will return the one census track that's right around uh, that particular point, that particular address um, on our map. So that's a really helpful tool if you have um, um, an individual address for an individual point. Uh, sometimes I can't, um, sometimes the census track finder doesn't find the addresses that I need, um, but for a lot of cases um, it will, and I'm not really sure why that is. So that, the link to that tool is on the census track finder landing page on Qubit's site. 
And there is a one other way that I know of for free that you can calculate census tracts. And that is using the Census Bureau's maps. Now these maps are um, static images, so there's no interaction. But if you know the state and the county, which most cases you do for your projects, um, you can click through their maps, and then for the for the county, click on the link that is the uh, triple zeros, the very first link, and that's going to give you a static image, and it's going to show you this is means file one, file two, file three has the image of that area. And I'm not familiar with this project area since I just made it up. Um, but typically for a project you would know, you could recognize based on these images where your, um, where your project would be. So let's just pretend for, for the sake that our project is in this, this block, this 19 file. And so then I would go back to this list and scroll down until I open the 19th PDF and open here. And so these are the census blocks as a flat image and let's zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Okay, and at this level we can start to tell streets. So if, if I knew the project area a little better, I could, you know, scroll around a little bit until I would find um, my area of interest. Oh, there's Crenshaw. Do I just not see it? Huh, interesting. Maybe it's down here. Rosencrantz. Crenshaw. Well, it's it's I would, you know, keep opening files. Maybe maybe it's not this file, maybe it's the one I need the one to the north of this area. Um and so I could use these static images to identify, you know, the different um, census tract numbers for my project area. So once I got all the different census tract numbers, I can go back to that American Fact Finder tool on the census's website um, and enter the census tract numbers in there and I can pull the demographic data that way. All right, so that is a whirlwind tour of three different free online ways that you can go about pulling census tract um, identification numbers for your project area. Um, if you have any questions or if I can help with anything else, please let me know. Um, my contact information is at cubitplanning.com. Good luck.